I want to show you how you can import data from the web into Excel. Now, there are several ways to do it. And here I have happened to go to uh, Yahoo Finance, and I happen to look up the um, information about Amazon.com. So I have this information. Suppose I'm interested in this table here, right, which has the previous close, the open, the bid, bid ask, etc. Well, one way to do it is to sort of cut and paste. So I'm going to try it this way and see what I get. So I copy, and let's just drop it in here somewhere. And we can see it's, it's kind of a mess, right? Part of it is because this is actually two separate tables. So that, that didn't look too good. So we can maybe just try and see if we can get rid of this. Let me get rid of this and, and see if we can uh, um, try again. So let me try this this way. So I'm going to do this part of the table. And I'll say copy. And I'll just paste it right in here. Paste. OK, that looks a little bit better. And I could um, get the other part of the table here and paste it right next to it. And let me paste that in. So, it, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Looks a little bit better. But the problem with this is, is it's a static table. The information you typed in now is the information you get. It doesn't adjust. It doesn't change. There's actually a better way to do this. Let me see if I can get rid of this. Is using the... Um, data function and importing it in using a new query and you have a bunch of choices and one of those choices is from the web so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this page here and I'm going to grab the um, URL and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste the URL it's not necessary to do that but I'm going to paste the URL into this cell here and the reason I'm going to do that is, you know, if I create this table, I might forget where I got the table from. So it might be nice to have a reference point. But again, it's not necessary to do that. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to go in this case, and sometimes under the data function, your screen will look different, or this uh, ribbon here will look different. But for mine, it looks like this. So I'm going to the drop down menu, and I'm going to say from other sources, and up at the top it says from the web and it asks for the URL so I'm going to paste that in and I'll say OK and it's waiting for Yahoo Finance and it notices that there's two tables table 0 is that first set of um, uh, data and table 2 so it's not it's considered two sets of data so I'm going to import it twice. So down here it says load. If I just click load, it will load this information into a separate um, worksheet. But what I want to do is I want to put it on the same page. So I'm going to say load, load to. I'm going to say existing worksheet. And it tells you where you want to put it. I'm going to say let's put it in, let's put a space here, let's put it in C1. So let's load it in, and there it is. And then I'm going to do the same thing for that second table. And again, I have to go through the whole process again. Data, new query, other sources from the web. And I'm going to, again, type that in, hit OK. Now I'm going to choose table 1. And again, load to the existing worksheet. And I'm going to say load. And there you have it. It's right here. And it looks very nice. It's formatted nicely. It looks essentially like it does right here. Actually, it looks maybe it looks a little bit better because, you know, of the, um, the table that it creates, you know, with the different colors. 
But one of the nice things about this is that when the information changes, you can update it. So you can click inside the table and then right click the mouse and just hit refresh and it will refresh the information if there's any new information there. Now it probably hasn't changed in this 30 second time period between when I loaded the tables and when I clicked refresh, but this is a great way to get the data and to create um, you know tables from the web that you can update later and again you can you know do some formatting change the column names etc etc so really simple to do but very useful and something you may find valuable in the future